It's true that the first people lived in the Amazon before the Ice Age, but our technical progress, the Amazon, which covers a huge area of more than 3 million square miles, hasn't been fully explored yet. About 3 million different kinds of animals live in this wild area with its woods and rivers, and more than 3,000 kinds of plants. There is no end to what can be found in this area. Every exciting expedition brings back scary findings that make us wonder how much we understand about Earth. Get ready to go on an adventure in the unknown Amazon. Come with us as we reveal the scary things that have been found in the Amazon rainforest. The first one is the Holodira. On a good day in 1993, Jeremy was fishing in the Brazilian Amazon basin, which didn't have a name. About 100 feet from Wade's boat, he saw a very strange sea creature. He was shocked by what he saw and asked people in the area about it, but they didn't believe what he said about this strange creature and even said he might have been drunk. Because Wade was sure of what he saw, he came back the next year to look into this strange critter. During his research, he met a man who said he had seen the thing weeks before. We call it the Holodera. Based on what he learned from talking to people in the area about the animal, he went on a second trip and saw the animal again, this time proving that it was a dolphin. Following a quick look at its head and a picture of it, this type of Holodera dolphin is also called the Sawtooth Dolphin. Some people think the animal might be an Amazon River Dolphin that got hurt by mistake. Like a fishing net or fan blades are, Wade has said that this is very unlikely because the notches are spread out evenly. On its body, and if this animal was hurt while being fished, it would have been done on purpose. By an angry fisherman who cut them up. Even though it was seen many times, the Holodera was never fully studied. So it's true, unknown person's name. The question still stands, is it a one-time event or a unique kind of river dolphin? The unsolved mystery of the Holodera makes the stories even more interesting, especially in the River of Meanu Yaku. How do you feel? Number two, if the saber-tooth tiger is called Payara. It's also known as the water wolf and the saber-tooth tiger fish. That is true. It is one of the most interesting fish you will see here. When it comes to killing other fish in the Amazon River, this rare fish has very sharp teeth that can get really big, up to six inches long. These teeth are not only very long, but also very big. The payara are born with holes in their upper jaws that were designed just for these, saber-toothed fangs. It's no news that the payaras eat meat and have huge appetites. They eat a many kinds of fish like piranhas, tetras, and catfish, and are also known to. They can attack and kill birds and small animals. They can even attack and kill a person they see. These fish live in the Amazon River's fast-moving rivers, where the water is always changing. The stream is strong. You can also find them on the bottom of rivers. Their big, thin, silvery wings are very useful. Their dark green or blue backs help them move through the water easily, even when there is a stream. This dangerous fish lays eggs, which is called oviparous. A female payara can lay up to 100,000 eggs all at once. The eggs hatch in just 24 hours, hours after the male payara fertilized her. Number three, the killer wasp. This wasp is a very nasty vampire, as its name suggests, and it is known for eating corpses that are not the same as a normal wasps. Many of the time, common wasps would bite and then move on, but vampire wasps, even more by moving into the skin of their hosts to live and grow there. Body of the host, very scary for sure. The female wasp lays her eggs under the skin of her meal, which doesn't know she's there. When these eggs hatch into maggots, they start to feed on the host's fluids and get bigger getting worse at a frightening rate. Unlike adults, these larvae don't have legs and move around their hosts living things like grubs. A tissue. When they're fully grown, they come out as adult wasps and sting the host, leaving behind their eggs. Their host was weak and open to attack. When the maggots eat, they can hurt the host inside, which makes the immune system weaker. It could even kill you. Sometimes the host can get rid of the eggs or wasps, but most of the time this leaves, leaving them with scars that won't go away and a weaker state. People aren't usually the wasp's main goal, but there have been times when they have. There are records of people being stung by this bug. It was written down that the stings were very painful. <laughs> Do you think this is the scariest thing that was found in the Amazon? Okay, now you have to wait because more scary finds are coming up. Number four, the Arapa is the world's biggest fish with scales. Ever heard of body amor that can't be broken? The body of this fish is just that. The Arapa is the world's biggest fish with scales measuring up to. The Arapa is 15 feet long and weighs 440 pounds, which is a lot. Its body is long and tubular, with thick skin. These scales aren't just for looks, they're very strong and can block attacks. Attacks from all sorts of dangerous animals. 
The scale is a way to protect itself from the many risks in the Amazon. At the moment, scientists are looking into ways to copy the structure and makeup of the area to come up with new materials that can stop bullets. The arapa is one of the few fish that can actually breathe air. Its swim bladder, which helps fish move, has turned into a basic lung. Because of this change, the arapa can sometimes rise to the top to gulp fresh water. Every 5 to 15 minutes, air it out. This skill helps the fish, but it also puts it in danger by making it more easily hurt. For fishermen to catch, people who live in the Amazon also use the fish as food. It's a big catch because of its size and extra meat, and it often sells for a lot of money in local markets. Some say that its meat is a treat because it tastes great and is crunchy. The peanut head bug, the master of masks, its name comes from the fact that the peanut head bug's head looks like a peanut. This bug really knows how to hide. It has a lot of different ways to protect itself. Starting with its strange head, it's not just for looks, it's also a smart disguise. That helps these bugs stay safe in the wild where they live. The bug also has fake eyes that make it look like a lizard or snake. Predators are also scared when they see these fake eyes. Even though the bug has a unique head and fake eye, it has a secret defense as well. Having the power to release a gas that smells so bad that it can knock any. There is just enough time for the bug to run away from its attacker. It's not a joke to call this bug the master of disguise. It can easily blend in with any. Surrounding in the blink of an eye because its body is many colors. As if that wasn't cool enough, these bugs have a function that makes them glow. Getting up at night. It's not completely clear how this power to make light could be used as a transmission, defense, or tool. Number 6. The Tyrannobdella rex. This small attacker, which is usually less than 5 centimeters long, got its scary name from. From how hard it bit. The T-Rex leech has eight very sharp teeth, the longest of which is 130 micrometers. Each tooth is as thin as a hair, which may not seem very small to the naked eye. This leech is five times bigger than the average one. The strange way the T-Rex leech eats is what really makes it stand out. This scary bug is different from most leeches because it attaches itself to the skin deeper. An annoying plan. Its big teeth let it see into animals' bodies through their openings, like their eyes. The urethras and the rectums. Because of this scary behavior, it has a reputation for being one of the strangest and scariest. Bugs that live on animals. This is being studied by people at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Creature to make medicines that stop blood from clotting. The unique saliva of the leech has blood-thinning qualities that could help in dealing with. With a range of medical issues, what scares you more? The vampire wasp or the T-Rex leech? Leave your thoughts in the area below for comments. Number 7. Giant centipedes from the Amazon. As the largest species of centipede, this creature is both interesting and scary. Its formal name on Earth is Scolopendra gigantea. The amazing length of this centipede is 12 inches and its tough body is made up of many. Pieces and covered with many pairs of writhing legs making it look like a writhing miniature. Even the most experienced travelers get chills when they see this snake. Additionally, the centipede is very large and scary and its bite can be very painful. It causes pain, swelling, fever, and tiredness in those who get it. Its poison is a tool that can be used to kill huge animals like frogs, mice, and rats snakes, and even little birds. Luckily for people who live near centipedes, these animals naturally stay away from. They don't like being around people and would rather be alone in the jungle. But if it felt threatened or angry, this centipede would not think twice before letting out its bite with poison. If this animal bites you, it can be very painful and leave a mark that you will never forget. That lasts for days. Number 8. The Fish of Kandiru. Sometimes called the toothpick fish or the vampire fish, this small attacker is known for biting. Swimmers who aren't paying attention and digging holes in their bodies. Trichomycteridae is the family name of the Kandiru fish, which is a parasite catfish. It's 5 to 10 centimeters long and has a thin, clear body with a slightly flattened top, with a spiked dorsal fin and a head. The spine of the fish helps it stay attached to its host and lets it take blood from the hog, gills, or other openings in its prey. For food, the Kandiru mostly goes after other fish, especially bigger ones. Kinds of fish, like catfish, it is able to find its food by following the smell of urine and other bodily fluids. It's very keen sense of smell. Its feeding loop works quickly and well. It can eat up to 30 times its own weight in blood in just two minutes. However, scientific proof shows that stories about Kandiru attacking people are not true. Studies have shown that they are not drawn to human urine and their bodies have not changed to fit them. Important to get through the body's narrows. Number 9. Pac-Man Fish 
The Paku fish looks so creepy at first glance that it can give anyone chills. Teeth that look a lot like human teeth. The Amazon and Orinoco bays are where you can find this fish, which eats both plants and animals. Roots like molars. The Paku is not a scary fish, despite what most people think. Its main foods are veggies, nuts, and seeds, with small amounts of other foods added here and there. Fish. Its strong jaws and teeth are also used to break up and grind these hard-shelled foods. Of things. That being said, it is known for being peaceful, but for biting male swimmers. The testicles. <laughs> People have been telling these stories for decades, but there is no proof to back them up. It's more possible that these incidents happened because of mistaken identities or stories that were made up. Paku fish are officially owned as aquarium fish in the United States, which is a surprise. But these fish can get very big, they can get up to four feet long. Number 10. Uh, drawings from ancient caves. People have lived on South America longer than any other region, making it an important part of human history. The first people to live in this area are thought to have come around 12,000 years ago. Long time ago, before the Ice Age. But it's been hard to figure out the past of these early South American communities. Because the Amazon has a lot of different kinds of plants and animals, and it rains a lot. Scientists have been trying for decades to piece together the lives of these old societies. Hidden deep in the maze-like woods, but in 2017, a huge breakthrough came to light. In the middle of the Colombian bush, archaeologists found a huge find, an eight-mile long. And a stretch of cave drawings are all that's left of the first people who lived in the jungle. These evocative, hand-painted pictures are thought to have been made before people lived in cities. Give us a quick look into the lives of our ancestors who lived a long time ago in this area. The thing that really makes these cave drawings stand out is that they show a wide range of animals. Of animals, some of which are no longer alive, like mastodons and huge sloths. These descriptions taught me a lot about the rainforest's ecology and geography during that time. Number 11. There is a pateris beetle. Get to know the pateris beetle. This bug may look innocent, but it has a poison called pederin that can kill you. Can make people's skin really bad. This poison is made in the beetle's belly to keep it safe from danger. The bug itself isn't dangerous, but if it gets on your skin, it can be. Lead to big trouble. You don't want to be around the toxin because it can burn and hurt your skin. You might get blisters a day or two after touching the bug. They can be anywhere from, from small bumps to big boils full of fluid. If things get really bad, the boils could even pop, leaving behind painful sores. Scientists still don't know how pederin changes our skin in this way, but they... I believe it has something to do with how our cells work being messed up. The pederis beetle has a strong defense, even though it is small. Number 12. Victoria in the Amazon. It looks like a huge lily pad and is much bigger than a truck. There are spikes all over these pads, so they're not just for looks. Their round leaves can grow as big as the water lilies in this family. They stand tall and have stems that can grow up to 8 meters long. They are as big as a grizzly bear. The secret to their huge size is a complex network of veins and supports, making a solar panel that floats on water and gets the right amount of light for photosynthesis. The leaves look soft on the outside, but they're tough on the inside, like a dancer with a solid center. Vicky Amazonica is more than just pretty. Its quick growth, in just seven days it goes from bud to meter-wide leaf, is useful. When these lilies are in flooded areas, they fight hard for room, even skewering and blocking other plants. Plants with sharp spines that can kill other plants. Over the course of two days, this flower can change from a female to a male. Pollinating bugs are drawn to the sweet smell, which creates an interesting symbiotic relationship. The flowers even make heat, which is nice for the bugs because it keeps them warm. Victoria Amazonica changes as the day ends and shows off its beauty at night. The bottom of its leaves turns a pretty color, like the stars in a dark sky at night. That the plant knows day and night makes it even more interesting to watch people. This Amazonian water lily opens its pretty flowers at night, making a dance of white. There are pink threads and flowers. The magical, sweet-smelling flowers bring in pollinators at night and make the plant grow. More romantic and cute. It's amazing how strong nature can be because this plant can handle the weight of an adult, but be careful not to step on it because it's torn. Number 13. The Tree of Manchineal The most dangerous tree in the world is the Manchineal. This tree's bark, leaves, berries, and everything else all have poisonous sap that can burn your skin badly and even make you temporarily blind. The main chemical responsible for the poisoning is forbal, which is a strong allergen. That sets off a flood of chemical processes in cells. Contact with the sap alone can make skin that is uncovered burn and blister severely. 
It is possible to get painful stomach problems, throw up, or even die after eating the fruit. The tree's pretty fruit looks like small green apples and has earned it the awful name. Called a beach apple, its sweetness draws in people who aren't paying attention, which ends fatally. Even when it's raining, it can be dangerous to stand under the manchineel because the sap can carry diseases. By the rains can make your skin itch. Number 14. A broadleafed Lonomaya. With its soft, fuzzy hair, the Lonomia obliqua caterpillar might look like it isn't dangerous. Despite how it looks, it has a strong poison that can do a lot of damage, including losing your kidneys and even dying. This caterpillar comes from the Amazon jungle and lives in the lush plants there. Because of the warm and muggy weather in the area, it looks like a worm and is about 3 centimeters long. Its yellow color really stands out, and black stripes that make it stand out to possible attackers. Its poison, called Lonomia toxin, is one of the strongest of any animal on Earth. As its poison is made by special glands near its mouth, it's very focused and even one minute of it can make someone very angry. When the Sonoma toxin venom comes into touch with human skin, it starts a chain of bad things that happen. It breaks down cell membranes, letting fluids leak out and causing a broad rash, damage to tissues. Number 15. The Rockfish the stonefish, which is also called the reef stonefish, can fit in with its coral reef environment. With its spotted and bumpy skin that looks like rocks and algae, it is called A. Prey that isn't paying attention almost can't find it. The stonefish lives mostly in tropical areas in the Indo-Pacific. It has 13 poisonous spines on its body, all the way around its back. These spines, which look like hypodermic needles, are linked to venom sacs that can release poison. With just a touch, a strong dose of poison. The poison is a complicated mix of neurotoxins and cytotoxins that can really hurt your muscles. Pain, paralysis, and damage to tissues. Its poison is so strong that just one shot can kill a person. If there is no death, the victims may have long-lasting pain, breathing troubles, and even being disabled for life. Number 16. Giant Dinosaur Ponera Imagine meeting a creature that is up to two inches long and treats you with respect. Because of its huge size and powerful bite, there is a big ant in the Amazon that is also called a tokendira. Among ants, it is a real giant with a strong shell that shines with. A metallic shine that can be anything from dark black to bright red. Its strong jaws can strike with a sting so painful that it can last for days. A day. Its other name, tokendira, comes from the fact that its bite hurts as much as a bullet ant's. This word means bullet ant in the native Tucanoan language. What's more, these scary bugs are not always alone. Their homes are underground, where they live in organized groups of up to a few thousand people. They build nests that are up to six feet across. Their social organization is very complicated with different castes of workers, soldiers, and one queen. The most numerous caste, the workers, are always looking for food, while the troops, with. Their big heads and strong jaws make them a strong defense for the group, keeping people out of their home and queen. Number 17. The poisonous golden frog. It's amazing how the golden poison frog can be so small and still be so dangerous. Things that are alive can really hurt you. This tiny frog is only one to two inches long and has a beautiful golden color. That color that scares away predators. What is the point of this warning? The toxins inside the golden poison frog are so strong that they can kill you. Is strong enough to stop even the most determined predators. The poison in a single golden poison frog is strong enough to kill 10 adult people one of the most dangerous animals on Earth. It has a thin layer of alkaloid fluids on its skin. Batrachotoxin is the strongest of these. This very specific poison goes after the sodium channels and nerve cells and stops them from working. Being able to send messages, it's the end result? The poor thing eventually died from paralysis of its muscles, failure of its lungs, and that is trying to eat the frog, 18th number. The Cape Giraffe. This animal is the biggest mouse in the world. It can grow to be 4 feet long and weigh up to 100 pounds, as much as 150 pounds. Its reddish-brown fur and webbed feet help it swim, which is very important. Since it stays in the water for a long time, capybaras are very friendly and like being around other capybaras, even though they are big. In fact, it can bring together up to 100 people. They eat fruits, weeds, and plants that grow in water. To stay alive, they need to be with other animals. Out in the wild. The capybara is very good at getting away from dangerous animals like jaguars and caimans. In the rainforest, its thick fur keeps it warm. It can also swim very well, which helps it stay safe and find food. Since it only eats plants, it doesn't have to fight with other animals for food. Number 19. The Mayantuaku River that is boiling. In Peru, near the small town of Pucala in the middle of the Amazon jungle, there is a... 
There's a rough river there called the Mayantuaku. Anything that goes into this river will boil, making it one of the hottest rivers on Earth. Most mysterious and interesting places, it is home to a small group of native people who have lived there for hundreds of years. They believe that the river is holy. Because the river is good for you, the neighborhood shaman is in charge of keeping it safe. It has water. The river is four miles long and gets as deep as 16 feet. But even though the river isn't very big, it stays very hot all through the year. Scientists have found water temperatures between 38 DC and 93 DEC. No one has yet figured out why the Mayan Tuaku River is so very hot. The heat isn't caused by a nearby volcano, and scientists are still working to figure it out. In order to understand the natural processes that make the river boil. 20th number. The green anacondas. The green anacondas are the last one on our list. Large size is important for this rare species, to smash the bones of its prey with a lot of force. A female green anaconda can grow to be up to 30 feet long and 1 inch wide. About 12 inches, for example. This means that they can easily weigh more than 550 pounds on average. It means they are the largest snakes in the world. These snakes don't pick and choose what they eat. They eat everything from. Range from animals like wild pigs, deer, and capybaras to turtles and claimant, they are after everything, even water birds. Usually, these snakes go through a long gut cycle that lasts for several days after a big meal. Weeks or days, given the size of the animals they eat, it makes sense that they need this time to digest. The green anaconda is slow and idle during the digestive time because it is thinking about digesting. Of its power to digest food, because they are so big, green anacondas are one of the few snakes that can eat A, even though they barely do. Only one event was reported and it happened in 1934. It was thought that the snake might have thought the man was a wild pig. Thank you for watching. Click the next video on your screen to see more amazing findings.